guys and welcome to this pick a card reading today we are going to ask the cards what do you need to know about love and we have three piles to choose from here i'm going to start with this pile here it is a sort of amber color ring flower ring it looks like and the second pile is a rose ring with some gems on it and the third pile is sort of a gold brassy ring with also some little diamonds on it. So take a minute and um, meditate on these piles or just breathe through and pick. Um, I'm gonna do either one, two, or three. And um, these are general readings. So if it doesn't resonate with you, please feel free to pick a different pile or you can just pick multiple um, piles in general. I'm going to do a close-up of the rings if you want to get a better look at them. This is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Uh, let's get right into this video because I'm really excited about it and uh, we're going to start with pile number one. Okay, pile number one, if this is the pile you chose, we're going to get right into your reading. And I have some oracle cards and I have my uh, main tarot deck as well. So let's begin with the uh, main tarot deck here. Okay, so what do you need to know about love? Okay, let me tune in to your cards and feel the energy here. So right off the bat, I see in the Seven of Wands, that you have this protective bubble of energy around you. So um, in your heart, you have inspiration and you are confident about it because of the way that you're holding your hands here. Uh, but you also have this protective uh, ball of energy around you. So you're maybe protecting your creativity, your insights, your thoughts. Um, so the beginning of this um, spread, this is uh, representing the past but it's also probably currently you're in the middle of that and um, you know maybe you spoke about something that you were creative about spoke about an idea and maybe you're getting all kinds of different messages from people around you uh, good and um, bad or good and negative um, or maybe you think some of them are negative or they sounded that way or they came in that way and some of them came in positively and um, you're thinking well you know should I have done that or should I be protecting myself and the truth of the matter is you deserve uh, the success that comes from your insights from your dreams from your energy from your creativity you deserve that um, and you can also at the same time of putting out your creativity um, or projects, you can also at the same time protect yourself. And that, again, comes in with the, the bubble, the, the ball of energy. So I would definitely um, see that uh, you already were in the process of doing that. You're maybe in the middle of that right now. And uh, it's okay to share your ideas. It's okay to have self-expression. Um, you know, this person is free and she's comfortable completely um, in her own skin, in her, you know, the way she dresses and what she's dreaming about, what she's thinking about. So, you know, it's okay to put that out into the world. This um, right next to the Queen of Wands, so you have two wand cards here, is um, pretty good <laughs> connecting. Um, pretty good connection here. So the Queen of Wands <laughs> represents, um, you know, again, creativity, energy, look at all that she is putting out into the world. This is absolutely explosive. I love this card actually. Um, and then not only that is she putting out all this energy and it's exploding into the universe, um, to land atop everyone. Um, you have all these candles, all this inspiration, all this light down here too as well to back that up, to follow up 
with that. And again, she's comfortable in her own skin. Look at that imagery there on both those cards. So she's comfortable um, in her own skin, he or she. Um, and she's okay with everything that she's doing. She's okay with putting it out there. There is a part of this card, and this is the present, that, um, you know, feels like maybe um, they can't put all their, you know, energy and ideas into the world. That um, maybe their light is, you know, too bright to shine and some people will be, you know, feeling uncomfortable about it because they're not at that place in their life. So this card is a reminder to let go of all that and let your light shine bright and go ahead with your creative flow. Do not worry about, you know, people that can't handle it. Do not worry about, you know, if someone else is stifled and can't deal with your success. So, you know, this card is telling you to go through, burst through, get it going. Um, and it's okay to be successful. You deserve that success. So both of these cards is, you know, that's telling you, you deserve that success. Be brave, shine your light into the world. You know, why not? Um, so that's kind of how you might be feeling in the present right now. Or you might've been questioning that, so there's your answer right there. And then I'm gonna move on to um, the future card. And you have the Eight of Cups here. So again, since this is what do you need to know about love, this is all connecting in that way. So, um, I feel like if you're in your creative flow, you are going to be more open to love. You are going to, you know, accept love if it happens to come your way. You're going to be more open to seeing it, more open to accepting it. So, especially when you're in your happy, comfortable place and you're putting out all that beauty and energy into the world, um, you know, everyone's going to want to be uh, around you. So, you know, it's easier to fall in love with you that way. <laughs> um, so moving on to, you know, what you have uh, going for the future in love, you have the Eight of Cups here, and this is such a cool spread going through. Um, you are letting go of that that does not serve you, and there it is. It's in that pot. <laughs> you are walking away from anything that does not serve you anymore. And guess what? Guess where you're walking to? You are walking to the bright, shining sun. And for me, in this card, it looks like the sun is actually rising. But you could take it however it resonates with you. But for me, it's rising. So look at what you're leaving behind. You know, any thoughts that you, you know, couldn't express your creativity, any thoughts that someone was going to, you know, hurt you if you shared your ideas and you needed to protect yourself, you're leaving that behind right here, all of that. And you're walking away into your truth, the bright, amazing, shining sun. So you are going in the right direction. And that makes for a beautiful, inspiring, creative future. How exciting is that? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, come through with the Oracle cards here. And I'm gonna ask the cards, what do you need to know about love once again? And these messages are kind of direct, some of them, but I don't take them um, you know, completely in that way. Uh, we could just try to figure out how it resonates um, with you or has, how it resonates together. And I pulled two of them. So let's see. What do you need to know about love? Whoa, okay, so get more information. <laughs> um, again, this can connect with these cards. You can work on your skill. You can learn a new skill. You can take a new class. Um, so much going on on, you know, the internet right now that's open to you. Um, and yeah, get more information and move into Hey, your new world of adventure. That's what that says to me. Look at all these leaves and flowers just bursting out of there and growing. This is you learning, this is you growing, and this is you moving into, wow, a new world, new adventure. And the second oral card of what you need to know about love. Wow, go, the time is right. I'm sorry, let me fix the camera here. 
So um, second oracle card is go, the time is right. And this, I don't know why, but this, I'm getting like a sense of like skill. I'm getting a sense of hard work, um, manifestation. I think, yeah, because everything's kind of going to the middle there. <laughs> And look at all these roots and flowers popping up there. So yeah, the time is right. Wow. This is an amazing spread. I really love this pile. But yeah, I hope this uh, resonates with you and helps you out. Um, and I hope you see the inspiration that's coming through with every single one of these cards. They are connecting, you know, more than I would ever think. That's amazing. So I hope this... Uh, pile one, I hope this reading resonated with you and I'm so excited that I got to read for you today. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Please leave a comment down below if you resonated with this, if you liked it, if it inspired you today. I hope that it did and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, pile number two, welcome to your reading and let's get right into it. You got the red rose with the diamonds on it. I'm just gonna get right into your pile because I am really excited about it. Okay, so let me take a minute and um, kind of feel out what's going on here for you guys. Okay, right off the bat here, guys, I see that you are um, either a workaholic or you are or and are burdened with a lot of different responsibilities right now so she has a lot going on here she has her luggage she has extra luggage um, that you know this poor bull is caring for her as well she has her coat her dress her boots she's got a lot going on here so um, are you a workaholic? Were you a workaholic? Are you in the middle of dealing with that right now? Um, did you come from this, you know, long road here and you're still traveling with, you know, all these burdens? Um, connected with the two of pentacles, this is you juggling all these responsibilities, um, all this work. This is you juggling and kind of it going infinitely, um, you know, all over the place, keep going and going and going. Um, but in a sense, that's a good thing that you're juggling that. So this is coming from um, the past energy. This is coming from the current energy. So, you know, hopefully you're juggling that. I hope you're in this state right now. This is the present. Um, hopefully you're juggling all this um, because you need that balance. You maybe you know are realizing that um in order to balance all this out you you know you need to kind of put everything in its place prioritize create an equilibrium um that is so that you could be your best self so you know it's not that she's not happy here <laughs> um you know she's she's happy about it she's comfortable about it she's moving forward she's in motion if you can see this one she's a little bit you know trucking along but this one she's she's in full motion <laughs> she's in the middle of it so I'm gonna say this is a positive move for you here definitely um, this is a uh, Taurus Virgo cap energy here so if it resonates it does um, yeah, so I would say you're in this point right now, you're balancing, you're juggling, um, infinite, the infinity symbol, infinite possibilities for you there to become your best self. I like that. Let's uh, go on to what do we have to hold in the future? And again, this reading is what do I need to know about love? And all of this connects, everything to me connects <laughs> um, anyways to love. So, you know, take that, you know, in which way it, it resonates to you if you take care of your you know all your jobs all your responsibilities if you're moving forward with it again you are ready to go that love is gonna flow if you're in a relationship that love is gonna continue flowing infinite 
And if you're single, that love is gonna be able to come in and be infinite. Why? Because you're going in the right uh, direction. You have everything balanced out. You know, you're not burdened by anything. You've moved on from that. So uh, speaking into what you need to know about love in the future for it, what's to come, you have the Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles is, um, it could be you worrying about um, something, you're thinking about something, you're worrying about something, usually it's um, a financial situation or a health situation, could be both, but you are thinking about that and it hasn't even happened yet. And it may not even happen. It's just that you're worrying about it. You're saying, you know, are my finances um, going to be, you know, a problem in the future? Is my health going to be a problem in the future? It doesn't necessarily mean that it is, but you are definitely thinking about that. So the way to um, get through this energy, which I, I love it. This is not a negative card for me at all. I actually love this card. And the reason I love it is because there is a doorknob there. <laughs> hey, and there's the key too. I just noticed that. Um, so you have the key and there is the door. So obviously the door is opening, right? So the way to get through this energy is to realize that doors are always opening for you. And guess what? That's how you're going to achieve the clear energy. Clear your head, clear your mind, clear the worries, and realize that the door is right there and the key is right there. And also, you know, a part of that is to find the hunger for positivity. Find the hunger in you for a fierce, not just positivity, a fierce positivity. And and for me, what I would do in this situation is I would do, um, you know, either daily affirmations or um, if you don't want to, you know, be specific with just affirmations, be specific with your own personal, you know, speech, with your own personal language. How are you talking to yourself? And change that into a positive if it's negative and continue to say it to yourself over and over again um, but again that's a form of affirmation um, because doors are going to open for you you just have to remember that you just have to keep saying that or write it down I love writing things down as well so write it down keep saying it to yourself and you're gonna knock all those doors down <laughs> let's move on to um, the oracle cards i have picked out two oracle cards for you and um again we're on the we're on the spread of what you need to know about love don't work too hard <laughs> you know infinite love for you and open the door to love it's right there for you um let's get into the oracle cards what do you need to know about love what does group two need to know about love Wow, that is amazing. I mean, I couldn't have done that if I tried. What were we just talking about? No, you got the no need to worry card. Wow. So look at that. You have all the moons. You have this cute little gopher. <laughs> um, but yeah, wow. No need to worry, guys. You are on the right track. So use your mind, use your energy, use your positive mind and your positive energy. You're gonna be just fine. And the second card, what do you need to know about love? Reconsider, reconsider your thoughts. Again, I don't see this as a negative um, card at all. Reconsider your thoughts, reconsider why you're you know, thinking that way, why you have all this going on. Um, and yeah, don't worry about it. Look at the beautiful, beautiful moon that reminds me of like just a full um blood moon wow beautiful what a gorgeous reading you guys i love this pile um i love all the piles but this one is amazing too i hope that you feel a breakthrough with this pile i hope that you're inspired with it 
And if you guys like this reading, please subscribe, like, and leave me comments down below. Tell me, I actually wanna know what's going on in your life. Are you a workaholic? Have you moved forward from it? Were you worrying about something that you didn't need to worry about? Please let me know in the comments. I'm so excited to hear about it. I wanna know what's going on. Um, again, I'm so excited to do this reading for you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hi, group number three. Welcome to your reading. You picked the amber colored ring that looks like a cute little flower. Um, so let's get right into your reading. I have a couple oracle cards I have picked out for you and also uh, my main deck. So let's see what this pile has for you. What do you need to know about love? Let's get right into it. Let me feel out your energy here. Wow, all these cards are beautiful. These are some of my most favorite cards. What a great pile. Okay, group number three, let's get right into it. And let me see what I feel in your cards here. What is connecting? How is this all coming together? So this video is about what you need to know about love and kind of talking about everything because I feel like it all has to do with love, your creativity, inspiration, everything. So uh, right off the bat, we have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Nine of Pentacles represents, you know, material abundance, spiritual abundance with the bird there. Um, her beautiful dress, you know, expresses material abundance to me. It looks like, you know, something she is just so excited to be wearing. And um, I don't know, it's just very, it, to me, it just feels very like fancy and lovely and just amazing material. That's kind of the sense that I'm getting. She has it all together. She has her material life together. She has her spiritual life together, whatever that may be, you know, um, whatever she, she believes in, whatever helps her through her day and her life, you know, she has that going on. Um, and you may feel this way, you know, in general, but it took you, you know, a while to get here. That's what I'm sensing. This isn't someone that just woke up with um, this abundance. It took her a while to get here. But if you see her smile, you can tell that she knows it was worth it. And she's just so, you know, excited about it. She's so content with it. But again, um, it doesn't mean that she's going to stop there. <laughs> you know, it looks like she is just going to keep on going with that energy and she wants to grow with that energy. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. She's looking over to the right, um, to the two of wands and the two of wands energy is basically look you looking into the future. It's you planning into the future. So you're not just looking out that window, you are planning. You are, I don't know, you know, like, even though you don't know exactly what's to come, you kind of do. <laughs> and that's the energy that I'm getting there. And again, she's looking to the right. She's flowing forward, you know, even though she's sitting there, she's actually on the go in mind, in body, in spirit, in everything. Um, this is a card of making progress. This is a choice between your comfort zone, you know, and that's funny because it goes, it connects perfectly with this card. Because yeah, you have everything that you need and you want, you're stable, content, but you're making the choice, I feel like, to not stay in, you know, that comfortable place. You are saying, I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep planning for my future. So what do you need to know about love? You need to know that you're doing great. You have a lot of love going on here and it's already in your life. 
and you're going to keep going with it. With the Nine of Cups um, card here, this card is about abundance. You see all of his cuffs. There's a lot of them. Not only is there a lot of cups, there is a whole treasure box down here. I'm sure you can see that and wow. So that's what you have coming for the future is more cups, you know, more success, more love overflowing. I kind of feel very artsy here too. I feel like creativity flowing. Especially, um, you know, he or she has blue hair and just all these amazing iridescent colors in the robe. I feel like, wow, there's so much, I feel like an artistic creativity energy going on there. So, um, I don't know, it's all connecting here. We have a bright, shining light behind you and you're just jumping into it. I feel like you're ready. So, um, this is your present right now and this is your future, but you're ready for that future. It's not, um, there's no hesitation there because look at that jump, look at that leap. You are ready to accept all of it. You're not hesitating at all to me. That's what, that's the feeling I'm getting from that, from that card. Wow, what a beautiful spread. And the way this connects to me is amazing. What an amazing connection. What a great choice, pile number three. I think this is right on. Hopefully it's, um, you know, resonating with you. The energies here I have are um, Taurus Virgo Cap energy, Aries Leo Sag energy, Cancer Pisces uh, Scorpio energy here. If any of those um, resonate with you, you can kind of tune into that. They may or may not. I'm gonna move on to your, um, the two oracle cards I picked out for you. So again, abundance of love. What do you need to know about love? <laughs> An abundance is just <laughs> flying your way. Uh, what do you need to know about love? What does pile number three need to know about love? Let's get into the oracle cards. Wow. Sorry, I'm gonna try to bring it into the frame. You're going in the right direction. Wow. Amazing, such a good, connection. What a good answer. You have the half moon, you have the hand, just like, you know, she's not, not completely grabbing on, you know, but just like, I know I'm okay. I know this, you know, this crystal energy is, is here for me. Wow. I love that. And then the year second, wow. <laughs> Group number three, you guys are just, I don't know, you're like, uh, this calls for a celebration. I feel like you guys need to celebrate this deck today. You got the yes card. I mean, wow, what a connection with all of your cards connecting together. So what do you need to know about love, group number three? You have a material, spiritual abundance. You are planning for the future. And it's all coming for you. So lots of love, lots of love, lots of love. Going in the right direction. Keep doing what you're doing because the love is, is there for you. And yes. Yes to love. <laughs> yes to everything I would say with that card. <laughs> okay, group number three, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I loved reading this um, pile for you. And please don't forget to subscribe 
and hit that like button. I would also love for you to comment down below. Let me know if this resonated with you. I want details of, um, you know, what this means to you in your life because it's just, what an inspirational pile. So yeah, I'm um, so excited to hear your comments and I hope you like this reading and I will see you guys in my next video.